What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be going over the top 10 QBs right now in Mad 22. Now, we haven't done, done a uh, top 10 in a while, and I thought it was only right that we do a top 10 QBs right to let you guys know who I think are the 10 best QBs in the game right now. Obviously, one being the best. 10, it doesn't mean they're the worst, uh, but out of all the guys on the list, they're in a way kind of the worst, but they're still a good option because there's actually, you know, I looked at all the QBs. What abilities do guys get? You know, there's very few, few stats that really matter on a QB. For me, it's, you know, how tall is the guy? How fast is he? How much throw power does he have? What's his throw under pressure? And then what's his archetype? What abilities does he get? I feel like those are the only things that really matter a whole lot for a QB. We looked at all that and, you know, we broke it down to the top 10. So let's go ahead and get to the list. At number 10, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Aaron Rodgers. So Rodgers, he's 6'2". Um, he's definitely a little bit of a slower QB, 72 speed, powered up. You give him a 91 throw power. He's got some really nice accuracies. Um, and he does have, he, he is a faster release, but since he doesn't have gunslinger, he does get, he gets past lead to lead. That's what most people, you know, pretty much rock past lead to lead on him. Um, but, you know, it, it will make his release faster, but gunslinger is, you know, what kind of makes his release on cocaine, but the card is still really good. Um, you know, I feel like the only downfall of it, it's, you know, he's just really slow. Uh, but I mean, he's a cool quarterback. If you like Aaron Rodgers, the, the card's not ass. He's still going to have a, um, a nice fast release. The ball will get out. 91 throw power powered up. That's pretty solid. So, I mean, it's not a bad card. It's just the thing is, you know, there's a lot better options than him. At number nine, we got Superman Cam Newton. So, Cam Newton, right? He's a scrambler archetype. He's six foot five. He's tall as hell. He can truck. He's 245. He can break tackles. He can get a skate artist, and that's kind of it. But a skate artist is really good in this game. Uh, powered up 87 speed, 92 throw power. The only thing I do not like about this card is his throw under pressure. He powered up most you get it to is 82. Unless maybe you get the QB strat card so you can get that up. But uh, that's really the only downfall I would say this card obviously he doesn't get the throwing um, abilities but in this game I feel like you know you don't exactly need gunslinger you don't need the passive leads you could just you know go out there with escape the bars and have, you know make some goddamn plays you really could but obviously you know from a comp standpoint you do want to have gunslinger you're going to passive lead those things but you know I used this cam new card for a while he was very good uh, I can't lie to you he was really good like I said the downfall of the card though is that throw under pressure when he gets a little bit of pressure on him and you got to throw it in that pocket, you know, it might sail on you. You might make a really bad throw. So that's really my only issue with the card. Besides that, this Cam Newton card, I thought was pretty good. Number eight, we have Zach Wilson. Um, I, to be honest with you, do not, do not, do not like this card at all. Um, but he does get Gunslinger powered up. He, he's six foot two, 83 speed, 92 three, uh, throw power. His throw under pressure is a little low as well, kind of like Cam's um and i just didn't like the card i but i know a lot of people that you know you know kind of still use the card maybe because they don't have a lot of coins and they just need a quarterback with gunslinger but you know the reason why he's kind of an eight is because he's an affordable option to get a guy that has gunslinger even though i feel like his release is ass and i just i don't know that that's kind of my issue with the card but like i said I did, it is it is my opinion but at the same time i also try to base it off you know what a lot of people think about the card um I don't know it's it's not my personal favorite but he gets gunslinger he's cheap uh that's really really all i can say about him number seven we have Derek carr which is surprisingly not a bad card he's six foot three uh powered up 82 speed 92 throw power he's got a pretty decent throw under pressure uh he gets past lead elite and um yeah, I mean that's 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 really all you need. He's, he gets past the lead, so he gets what he gets what the hell you need. Uh, he's you know just looks pretty good. I mean, he's once again, there's nothing too crazy special about him. It's just he is just a little bit better than some of the other quarterbacks that we've shown so far. And obviously, the guys coming up, you know, there's going to be a little bit better than him. But you know, if you got like a Raiders theme team, I think this is their best QB to use right now, unless you get Dan Marino. This guy really wouldn't be uh, that bad to use at all. Number six, we have Mac Jones. Now, this card actually kind of threw me off a little bit. I I did not know powered up. This guy would have 93 throw power. Like, what the fuck? This Mac Jones card is kind of nice. Uh, 
You get 81 speed powered up. He's six foot three. He's got an 86 throw under pressure. Not the greatest, but it's damn sure not the worst. Uh, pass lead elite. He does not get high route master. So, from my understanding, what you need to get high route master uh, for field generals, I I think it's 95 awareness. As you can see, he only has 80 fucking seven. So, uh, but yeah, th this card is actually surprisingly it's not bad i mean he's not the fastest in the world but he's got a he's got a nice arm he's tall honestly because i've went against a few mac jones and i was like this guy's kind of nice and now I've, this is my first time looking at the stats and i gotta say mac jones is kind of nice number five we got michael vick and i know a lot of people they're like oh vick should be like top three you know that's the way i love michael vick look i think i still in my opinion if you asked me I think he really is. He's my favorite quarterback to use. I mean, he's got 93 speed, 93 throw powers. Accuracies are really nice. I mean, he gets escape. You can get, you can choose if you want to use escape artist or if you want to use pass the lead. I used both. You can't go wrong with neither. They're both really good options. Um, and he's overall just really good. But I just feel like if we're talking from a true QB throwing the ball standpoint, you know, there's a little bit. There's guys coming up that I think just a little bit better but you know michael vick it, it, it's really kind of based off some of the abilities that are coming up why the guys are better uh you're gonna notice they all have this one ability that pretty much nobody else in the game gets so uh yeah but michael vick look i'm going with michael vick over everybody that's just me but you know what i mean number four we do have tom brady so now you're probably wondering what ability was I talking about? Hot route mastery. Power Brady up. He gets that 95 awareness. He will get hot route mastery. He's got 92 throw power, some good accuracies. The only problem with him, though, compared to all the other guys that get, uh, you know, the hot route master is, um, yo, he's fucking slow as hell. And actually, the other, and there's only one guy where you can put hot route master on and have pass the delete. There's only one guy. You know who it's going to be. Obviously, it's pretty obvious he's going to be number one, but. These other guys you can't put on pass lead elite and uh hot route master like you have to put on hot route master and then set feet lead so that's kind of the difference between uh these guys and the number one guy number three we got the derby i mean he's just looks like a stud powered up 86 speed 94 throw power he's six foot six nice accuracies uh but once again you have to pick you know between hot route master and pass lead elite so let's say you go with high route master for that second slot there's no pass lead elite you would have to put set feet lead on which i'll be honest after using pass lead elite it's really hard to go back to set feet lead now it is the same thing but it's just like you know there's times where you could have your feet set and sometimes set feet lead might act a little funky that's why pass lead elite is just a lot better because it's just a whole lot more consistent you don't have to worry about you know nothing stupid happening so um yeah, but the the Derby is just looks like an absolute fucking stud. At number two, we do have Josh Allen. Now Josh Allen does not get high route master. Pretty much it's just gunslinger. But the thing with Josh Allen is um he has a very good release and his 92 throw power, I think most people can admit, it's a little bit more than 92 throw power. Like for some reason he just the ball goes a little bit farther when he throws it. And that's actually just how it is for like some guys when they throw the ball. The ball just goes a little bit farther. Michael Vick, one of those guys. And there's some guys, for example, where the ball just doesn't travel, you know, how like, you know, to like their throw power. Like Daniel Jones, for example, he throws a really shitty ball. I used Ryan Tannehill. I'll be honest, there's a lot of throws. Tannehill was under thrown. I'm like, I'm not fucking with it. Josh Allen is just, I mean, the guy's a pure thrower. He's got some decent speed too. He had 84 speed. And you're probably looking at that 84 throw under pressure. You power it up, get the 85. That's a pretty solid threshold. So, look, if you can't get the number one guy on the list, Josh Allen is a great number two to uh, have as an option. At number one, it's pretty obvious. We got Dan Marino. Now, there's a lot of different reasons for why Dan Marino is number one, all right? One, you can put on Hot Route Master and Pass Lead Elite, which is extremely good. Powered up, you would have to actually obviously have him uh, powered up. Um, also he gets every team cam in the game so every single theme team you can put them on that's also pretty big which means his speed for most people is going to be you know around that 80 ish area just because you know what i mean he gets every team cam so you can run any theme team get you know anything on him he'll get 94 throw power i mean there's just 
so much that it just makes the car great, you know, I mean, for him to be number one. So it was pretty obvious it had to be him. Um, obviously, you know, a lot of QBs get left off the list. Maybe some honorable mentions. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick is decent. Carson Wentz isn't the worst. We've been rocking with him, actually. He's not, not the worst. Uh, if you're on a budget, Matthew Stafford's out there. Um, so those are just like some honorable mentions. Shit, I lost to a guy that had fucking Daniel Jones. So, you know what I mean? There's there's other options. The Vince Youngs. I know you Vince Young guys out there. Y'all are the fucking psychopaths out there. But um, there's other options if you don't want to use these guys. But in my opinion, these are the 10 best guys in the game right now. Let me know if you disagree with the list. If there's any other guys that you think should have been on here got left off or you know maybe the list was great you let me know down in the comments but that's pretty much gonna do it though boys like comment subscribe man and your boy is out